Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tips and Hearst, and it's Saturday, and it's a happy day because it's Saturday and we're going to be off tomorrow, right, Christina? That's right. Yeah, that's right. So what we thought we'd do today is do a couple of really simple drop-in vase arrangements. I don't think we've ever done this before, really, and it's really like the easiest thing to do. So I thought we'd do one that's kind of a moderate, you know, let's say it's going to run anywhere from $75 to $100, and then we'll do a little bit more elaborate one. So what we'll start out first will be some Queen Anne's lace. Oops. Some purple. Look how cool. Look how big the stock is. Those are so big. Big. Huge. Purple stock. Doesn't smell too bad. Too bad. So <laughs> and then Lusianthus. That's what I was saying today. We isn't that gorgeous? I just love the clarity of that color. It's so pretty. And then a few pieces of Larkspur. And then we're going to do a few Gerber daisies. Oh, I think I forgot my wire. And then some silver dollar is going to be in both of them. Let me see if they're getting wire up here. Uh, it's over there. Mm, too bad. Anyway, so what we'll do first is we're actually going to we're going to add just a few pieces of the silver dollar around the edge. I'm going to take that leaf off of there. So how is everybody in Happy Land? Everyone's good. We have friends from South Carolina, West Virginia, Texas, California, Kansas, Virginia, awesome. Illinois. Everyone ask how you're doing today. We're good. I'm, I'm wondering how our friends in Puerto Rico are doing. It's kind of no. I was wondering about my friend in Turks and Caicos. Yeah. I was wondering how she was. Yeah, that didn't look very good this morning on the thing. Since some people had already lost their power again, which is awful because it took so long to get the power the last time. So that first off, tough. let's go back and add our larkspur. We're going to do that dead in the middle. So someone said, how does that, how does that stock not smell? It, it doesn't smell like clove, the one that I love so much, so I'm mm. saying. It does have a little fra a slight fragrance to it, but it's not that clovey one that I think smells so good. It also doesn't smell like cabbage either, which is good. <laughs> Sometimes it... The foliage is what gets kind of... Well, the ruscus that I took to the wedding this morning, it must have been in nasty water because... Really? Really. Mm, that's not good. That but you know me and smells. I mean, yeah, I can pick Yeah, that up shouldn't smell, quick. though. Okay, so let's do our Lusianthus next. We're going to take that foliage off. The reason why I love using Lusianthus like in drop-in vase arrangements is it has such a long stem and a thin stem. You can easily take that foliage off and generally the bloom itself is going to kind of drape out to the edge so it doesn't look quite so stiff. Uh, Miss Peggy, but not from McCrory today. It's Miss Peggy from Hoover, Alabama is watching today. Oh, fun. And she always hears me say Miss Peggy's here. So I'm giving her a <laughs> shout out today. Okay. Well, several we have Peggy's. friends from Ireland, <laughs> Seattle, Guatemala. Oh my goodness. South Africa, Arkansas, Mississippi, oh, Florida, cool. Maryland. We have lots of people that love the purple. This really is such a pretty color. Miss Alice said she just dyed her hair purple. Not the Miss Alice we know from Alabama, another Miss Alice. Oh, fun. So now let's go back and add our stock. And the stock's going to go a little bit deeper in in the fact that we want that color to kind of be the base <laughs> down low. So Miss Sarah said, happy family, go check out on the YouTube videos for more of Chris's amazing designs. She said, Chris, she loves your work, but that my sassiness adds so much to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not sassy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. See, Miss Wendy said you came to visit us at Enchanted Evening. And yes, I did. Yes, you did. That's where the wedding is today. Yeah. One of ours. Yep. Someone asked, how do you decide prices on arrangements? We actually work off a wholesale pricing when we do our arrangements. And then we do various markups depending on what the different types of designs are for. Um, but we use our wholesale pricing so it's a little bit more consistent. And it also kind of lets you know about the variables of like the season. Like tulips are a little bit, well not a little bit, they're more expensive now than they would be if they were in February or March because they're not field grown. So we just work off a wholesale sheet, meaning whatever 
the local wholesale is, that's the prices that we use to do a markup with. So let's say something was 50 cents. Well, to cover your cost of your labor and all your, all your extra other stuff, most generally people use a three to four time markup. So what would be 50 cents, you would resell for $1.50 to $2. That makes sense. That makes sense. So Miss Mary asked, what are the flowers for August? Is there like any special flowers for August? We're still be doing glads. You're going to start seeing us do a lot more uh, fall. We'll do a lot more fall and we're also going to start doing a lot more uh, uh, artificial or faux silk fall pieces too. I feel like when you get to August, it's like uh, fall. Cannot, exactly. It's like July, I'm like, oh, it's so hot, it's summer. And today, yeah. it's just like, it's August, it's almost fall. Oh, and it feels so good outside. It does, today is, today is beautiful. perfect day to be out. So now I'm gonna go back and add just a few of these Gerber days just to add a pop of pink. And you better tell people that we don't have our wires. Yeah, we don't have They're our wires. They're gonna be asking why yeah, we aren't so wiring. I'll have to rewire these when we get done. And I'll put them in a little bit deeper because the color's so intense, it's gonna make all these other colors really look good. We have friends from Ontario, Parkin, Arkansas, Jonesboro. I used to have an aunt and an uncle that lived in Parkin, Arkansas. So we have tons and tons and tons of people that love the purple. So there's that one. Simple, easy, loose drop-in um, style we did. What? What is that noise? I don't know, but I've never heard that before. That's kind of scary. Maybe it's that, a rat. Shh. What is that I for don't know real? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to figure oh, that no. out once we get done. Oh. I think we have a rat friend, y'all. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> At least I'm on mercy. a ladder. We're going to have to get this over quick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So now That's I'm crazy. You and I both. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to use this is Salau. Now this Salau, Salau actually grows in different growing seasons too. And this is really, really green, meaning that it's really soft. So I'm trying to make sure we have it in water. So someone said, is drink. yarrow and Queen Anne's lace the same thing? No. Yar this is Queen Anne's lace. And yarrow would be that bulky yellow or the cottage yarrow we use quite a bit. But generally, the biggest thing people always realize yarrow is that yellow kind of a cloud. You're going to see a lot of it coming up in the next couple of weeks because we use a ton of it during the during fall. So now let's go back and add a little bit of our parvifolia. Good job! Yay! I got it right. <laughs> Woohoo! Miss Nancy said, <laughs> "OMG, y'all are too funny." The, I Yikes. wish they could have heard that sound. I wish they could have. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda said, love the drop-in. See, you all think this is a drop-in. Mr. Uh, Chris does. Yeah. To a lot of people, it is not a drop-in. It's a drop-in. Just drop it in there. Five minutes of gorgeousness. So now we're going to go back and add just a simple collar. Miss Martha said if we go offline, then they'll know why. Yeah, the rat got us, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> Gosh. It's not a rat. It's not a rat. It honestly sounded like water, water falling down. Water or like electrical something going on. Oh, jeez. Our luck. Anyway, so now we're going to go back and fill in with a little bit of the amaranthus. And this is going to be like a fill in the fact that we're going to add a pretty good punch of color here. In deep with this beautiful maroon amaranthus. <laughs> What? Miss Christine said, put elastic bands around the bottom of your legs so that nothing runs on, runs up. On oh, my <laughs> good. Y'all have got me paranoid well, Let me now. tell you, well, you're on a bladder anyway. You don't have to worry about That's that. That's true. Someone asked, are we done with all of our events today? Yes, we are. Are we? <laughs> Christine, are we done with all of our events today? We're done with all of our events oh, today. Oh, good. It was an early day. And now I'm going to go back and add a couple pieces of... I didn't show you what we're working with. Let's, let's do that first. We got first. so distracted. I'm <laughs> so sorry, y'all. <laughs> Rats. Anyway, purple on this amaranthus, we're going to do this really beautiful dahlia. The variegated dahlia. No clue what the name is. Then we're going to do some pink O'Hara roses. Love those. 
We're going to do some majolica, or maha, I always say it wrong, majolica rose, spray rose. Those are so pretty. And then probably one bunch only of the Stilby. This is Queen Anne's Lace, but in a different color. I love that purple color. Which there's a proper name for that, but I don't know what that is. And then some more Lusianthus in the pink, and then a couple of snaps. And I actually tried to be very cautious about how much stuff I pulled so I didn't just bring the whole cooler down here, which can't tell it now, but anyway. So let's start out with our snaps. So someone asked, what is the name of this vase? Uh, glass. Glass face. <laughs> <It's a> glass <laughs> Miss Ann asked if we've ever forgotten <laughs> an event. No. Nope, we have not. I try to keep us very on the spot. We may have been five minutes late to set up or something like that, but mm, not really. Normally, we keep that. the schedule very yeah, tight. We're pretty. I hate being late. Me too. I hate it. We probably shouldn't tell them that because yeah, we're a few now we're going to be late for everything we do. We're going to forget something big this week coming up. So uh, we have. We're probably have, jinxed. We have lots of meetings this week. I was reviewing our schedule last uh, night, so get yeah. ready. Yay. So I'm going to add the dahlias in next. And Is actually, Queen Anne's Lace the same you see on the side of the road? Yes. Okay. It is. Miss Sherry is laughing about the glass vase, lol. <laughs> I, it, I guess it's like a tulip shaped vase maybe would be a good term for it. Oh, Miss Grace just came on. We better act, hey, act okay. right. Okay, no more, no more fun. Miss Grace is on mine. Everyone's laughing at you saying glass face. Uh, so someone asked if those are gladiola. No, these are snapdragon. Snapdragons. So I probably need to spin this, don't I? Doop, doop, doop. Miss Joy asked if you meet with the brides as well. I do. Yep. Um, generally, Christina meets with them first, and if they would like to meet with me later, or we feel like we need to further the discussion, then I get to meet the brides. Miss Carmen yeah. said, do we ever get a day off? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Miss Judy said she loves this color scheme, and she said, you kids make me happy. <laughs> Is there another name for Queen Anne's Lace? Yes, but I can't remember it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I'll get the name for you. Is it Ami Maju? Yeah, uh, a mag, yeah, something. Okay, someone said that. So. Yeah, that's it. That's it. How are we say that? Yeah. What she said. So, um... Miss Dana said that the greenery draping is fabulous. What kind of greenery is that? Parvifolia. Eucalyptus. It's a big it flower right now in greenery, especially in the wedding business. It really is. I mean, everybody wants parvifolia. So I'm going to spin this again so you can see where we are. I I'm like making this shades. a little bit <clears throat> more airy than normal. Oops, we're going to take out that other arrangement. Oops, let me put it over here. How's Good that? Good idea. <laughs> Miss Debbie asked, does Chris arrange flowers in his sleep? No, I sleep in my sleep. Someone wants to know, yeah. what would the price of this arrangement be? Do you know by looking at probably, it? Probably, I would think it's probably with the base. The base is like $48, so probably around 200 I would think, by the time we get finished. So someone asked, does it smell wonderful? Not a lot of fragrance yet, but it will be once we start working with the Pink O'Hara's, because they truly smell like an old garden rose. They do. Or not an old garden rose, but just a beautiful garden rose. I mean, they are pretty amazing. That's why I always add them to this kind of look, because I want the hint of that fragrance. I think the Privifolia smells really nice. It does. It's it's not as it's a strong of a of a eucalyptus, but it still has that eucalyptus face to it. Okay, so Miss Sandy just came on, and I had told her that you might do her silk. I'm in trouble. Arrangement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he started it upstairs, and then we came to video. So, 
your bunnies are already in place your and your arrangement are in place, is getting done. But I didn't. I thought people would think I was crazy doing east doing bunnies today. So. So Miss Deanna said, if you wanted a very fragrant arrangement, what would you recommend for that? Well, it depends on what you can tolerate. Now, if you love spring fragrance, hyacinths are always amazing. Uh, any kind of Casablanca or a Stargazer Lily, any of those things are, are beautiful. Now, some people find those very, can't take them, gives me a headache. So those don't do for well for everybody. So it really depends on what you can tolerate the smell of. So someone, I'm gonna brag on Mr. Chris for a second. So someone just said, I bet you've won many awards. Mm, a few. And Mr. Chris, ha he doesn't toot his own horn, but I will for a second. Even though he's literally gotten so many awards, I can't even name them all. But he, this past year he was in, well not this past year, this past May he was inducted into the Garden Club of America as an honorary member, which is like a huge deal. I think there's two people in Arkansas ever. Mr. Chris, what else are you? You're a fellow, right? I'm a fellow of AFD. Which there's only like seven of those. No. Right? Not very many. No, there's probably 35 of us. Okay, 35 in, in the whole country? Come on. It's well, a big deal, everyone. 35 of us still alive. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's see. I've won Arkansas Cup, the Arkansas Design. It's just very... It, Many awards. Let's just say we've been around the block. How's that? You've been around the block. That's right. Yeah, We're about to drop a Queen Anne's Lace up here. Where? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh man, yeah, there it Well, went. we got more anyway. Okay. So. Everyone is just loving this arrangement and the colors. The colors. I and like Miss Nancy said, we are so proud of you, Mr. Chris. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's, I've been very blessed. How's that? So, um, Miss Danielle wants to know where she can buy the artificial pompous grass that we used in one of our videos. Uh, we can if you want to message us, yeah. I know exactly where it is in the store. So, if you message us, we'll get back with you about that. Oh, Christina, we got some fresh pompous grass in today, too. Oh, we'll really? To Good. Next week. It's huge, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, I'm like, oh, my gosh. See, Miss Sherry just said he also won an award with Texas State Floral. Oh. See, he's had so many, y'all. Oh, you're so kind. Someone said they hear a voice behind the flowers. Is that Chris? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Waldo? That's him. This is the way I like it the best. All you see is flowers. You don't see me. So. Someone wants to know how you get so many stems in a vase. Well, this has a large mouth to it. So that's how we can do that. So we're almost done. I think we are done. So what do you think? I think it's beautiful. Da -da -da -da. I love the colors. I do too. Kind of spinning into that fall a little bit, maybe. All those maroon colors. So, let me scoot that out of the way. Hello. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I hope y'all have enjoyed today's happy. Uh, we won't be here tomorrow. We'll be back on Monday. But uh, we got to go find out what that noise is next. Christina, go over there and see what it is. No, <laughs> you go first. <laughs> oh, scary. So, anyway. We will see y'all on Monday. Y'all have a safe Sunday and a blessed Sunday. Please be careful out there and we'll miss you, but we'll see y'all Monday. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a happy, bye.